Hey, welcome back to another episode of Soul Therapy with your girl Chanel Black. Now, I was just out there, just minding my business out here in these Google streets, girl. And I saw that Miss Heather Locklear was trending. Okay, so welcome her to the show, guys. Hey, girl, how you doing? Girl, if, as y'all can see, she's very annoyed today. Now, girl, it ain't nothing I did to a girl, but... Uh, these Google Streets is not being nice to her right now because at, just as soon as I put her clicked on her name, all I saw was Heather Locklear, Locklear um, horrible life, okay? And then they started listing out the different things that was happening in her life, which I did not know. Now, she was the it girl at first because wasn't she the first Caucasian city girl? I mean, yes or no? Y'all let me know. Okay, because she was out here, baby. She was beautiful. She was uh, the hot girl. She was you know booked and busy back in the day and then we just didn't see her no more and nobody didn't even ask about her okay I, so y'all wrong for that but either way girl every article I, I mean I didn't even click on the articles just the headlines it was like Heather Locklear loses her husband to famous girlfriend okay it's like okay well dang that's horrible and then she said Heather Locklear 20 20 times she was in rehab she had 20 stints in rehab whoa it's like what's going on and it's like heather angry at and then they said heather putty face it's like wait a minute it's like why is y'all being mean to heather so girl i had to call heather to the stage baby it's like girl what's going on with you baby because the streets are talking and for what what you do girl what happened so, we're going to do an intuitive reading real fast, real quick, girl, on Miss Heather. Okay, so I'm going to pull, I got my cards out here, girl, because I feel like just any cards just wouldn't do. So, I pulled out my special cards. So, we're going to kind of find out what space she's in and how we can help, you know, pull her out, girl. Because 20 stints in rehab, baby, something ain't working. Something has not worked. And it seems like just off top, you know, just Girl, I'm not gonna even go by the articles because I don't know. I don't know if they hate no art on that baby or what. Okay, so we're gonna see what's going on. So, divine angels, if you would please allow me to see the cards that you present to tell the story of Heather Locklear. Okay, or get close to it, girl. We're just trying to figure out. We're trying to help our sister. We're trying to do a soul therapy. So, in soul therapy, what we kind of do is kind of see what's the root of the problem, what's the energy, okay? What chakras are off balance? How can we heal those chakras? Okay, to get Miss Girl back up and running, girl, we need her back out here. Now, I don't know if she's going to get back out here being booked and busy, but she could. Because she, even right here, she don't, she look good, okay? She annoyed. She's going to tell you F off, okay? When, when they tell you that, baby, <laughs> baby, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and pull these cards. So, let's see. What's the current energy for Ms. Um, Heather? Okay. I ain't going to pull too many of these cards. I just want two. Okay. So, first, we got the meditation right here. Peace, relief, and sanctuary. So, she want her peace. Okay. She want to be left alone. Okay. She need to meditate, baby. She need to be sage, okay? Because she's trying to get herself right. So it feels like for her to be right, she needs to be by herself. So she may have turned to an introvert. You know, after being out there in the, in the spotlight for so long, sometimes you just get so tired of that. It's just like, girl, I just want to be by myself. I just want my peace. And you can tell she's looking dead at the cameraman, whoever he is. He know who he is, honey. He know who he is, okay? That day. And she's like, baby, I'm not in the mood for it. Okay, I'm trying to enjoy myself. All right, we got sacred journey. Okay, she on that sacred journey to that sacred place, which means she's not there yet. She's not at that place yet. It speaks about introversion, seeker, and self knowledge. So it's something that she's keeping to herself. Okay, it's a lot of things that you know. She's trying to see the beauty and things. She's trying to find her peace. She really is. Um, she got there trying to meditate, baby. She's trying to find it. But she's not there yet, okay? It's a journey for her. So that's why she likes to stay to herself. But, you know, and I, and I feel like this is a journey, a solo journey. She needs to be on. Like, again, she's more introverted because she's seeking answers that are within. She, she want to know what happened. Uh, why did things happen to her the way they happened to her? 
And so let's find out, Miss um, Miss Heather. I want to know too, girl. So let's pull from this deck to see what is her mentality right now. What is the mentality of Miss Heather? So the cards that popped out, we got silence, dreamer, the lovers, and new visions. So she keeping silent about, you know, look look what she dreamed about. She must be having PTSD of a past relationship. But it's a dream. It looks like a loving dream concerning the lover. And she keep on having visions. She want to have new visions and get rid of the old visions that she's having. So since they came out so pretty and lovely, we'll go ahead and take those. But I'm still going to shuffle and see what I really want to come out. So baby girl seems like she got a broken heart. Okay, and she's trying to get a clear understanding about this broken heart, and why she, and, and, you know, she's trying to get this clear understanding because it's like she's trying to get herself back out there. But then the things that y'all, the people are saying, the press, baby, the press is running wild. Okay, literally with her, and she it makes her scared to even come back out and fly again, girl, because she don't understand. She she don't have a clear understanding. So let's see what's your mentality, girl. Okay, so the cards say, oh girl, she fighting, okay, she throwing these hands, okay, she got that, that fighting spirit on her, she got her armor on and she ready, okay, so she seems like she's standing up in her, um, I don't know if she's standing up in the masculine energy girl, or she's standing up and not giving an F, okay. She got that armor on and she said anybody can get it. Okay. She thought the beast said something. Okay. Okay, girl. But you know, she's trying to slow down. You know, she, you know, with with moving forward with this turtle, it's like the turtle's always moving because do the turtle know that he has his home on his back? Or is he looking for a home or do he know that he you know home is where he is? So he just always moving. But then always at a slow pace. So it's like she don't want that fast life. She wants to slow down in life, baby. Enjoy her life. Enjoy her home. Okay, sister girl going through a transformation, which means she may be also going through a dark night of the soul. Now, dark night of the soul, baby. I'm going to have to pull out the dark mirrors, okay? We're going to see what, because she's fighting. If either she's fighting this transformation, she's fighting this dark night of the soul, Okay. So that's why she's not quite made it to this, I guess, this promised, plant, promised land. This, she's not quite there yet because she's fighting this. And it's starting to slow down. Because I think it's starting to scare her. Okay. If this is a dark night of the soul, it is scary when you go through it. So let's find out about um, this fighting energy. What is this fighting energy for Heather? Okay, so it seems like here we got atonement. Wow, we got the Ten of Swords. It's like this baby that took all she can take being stabbed in the back and she's still trying to look cute with it. She said she still look good. She said she's not fat. She said she's still looking good. But she's still trying to get this understanding of why. Like, why did this happen? Like, why me? Okay. Cause and then we have here addicted. Wow. So girl, if you looking like this, baby, you ain't got it no more. If this how you look in heaven. Baby, those ten of swords don't wore her out, baby. Baby don't wore her down. Baby. Ooh, girl. Baby, yeah, let's 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 look into this baby. Because that transformation, she catching it. And it speaks about addiction as well here. Either addictive behavior. Like I said, she had 20 stints in rehab, so it's still showing up here. It's still showing this ugly head, literally, girl. I mean, I ain't even gonna lie to you, I ain't gonna even hold you, so baby show this ugly head, okay? So um, let's see, girl. Let's see, why is this here? Let's pull some um, I'm parsing from this little cute little deck cuz honey baby the ugly don't rear this head baby I ain't trying to scare y'all I just want y'all to see that okay that's that 11 that divine timing baby 
11 addicted it's giving that night energy at night I, I feel like the struggle comes at night for her like she could during the day I mean I only love being alone but this dark night of the soul is really girl it's to get to the point that she needs some type of substance to deal with it it's too much okay if you know what the dark night of the soul is the soul is trying to I really don't know what be going on with it but I just know it's a lot of darkness that you have to go through just to get back to the light and you got to be strong spiritually to get through this this is nothing you can get through by yourself girl I mean, you can get through it by yourself, but like I said, the meditation is here. But if you can't focus on the meditation and find your peace in a sanctuary for you to um, complete this journey, girl, it's a complete monster. It's like you turn into addiction to try to handle it, and you can't, and you're fighting it. And that's why it's slowing down, and that's why the struggle is real for her. Because she's brokenhearted. You know, she's been betrayed for real a lot. Ten swords in the back by people that's close to you. Okay, when you was at the height of your game, looking good, feeling good. So it's like, baby, what you gonna transform to? You ain't got no choice but to go down because the people didn't love you when you was looking good, feeling good at your best. Okay, and they still stuck these sores in your back. It's like it turned her to addiction. Okay, one thing led to another. And she started to transform to whatever this thing we saw in this addicted car, baby. Okay. So, give me more about this fighting and atonement. What do we need to know about that for Heather to help heal the soul? Okay, anything we need to know about this addiction and transformation? Okay. All right. Okay, make sure we got, did we call it her energy? I'll be doing stuff all late, but hey, that's just how I do it over here, okay? Oh, the weight of the world is on sus. Girl, you was booked and busy. Just turn down the jobs. That's all you had to do. You, you didn't have to collect every check, sus. Maybe you didn't do that for us, okay? But she didn't set her boundaries, though. It says, and she didn't know when to let go of some things, okay? And it's not yours to carry so she's been carrying some burdens and maybe some of these swords that she caught well not even probably for her she called it i don't know she's trying to protect people or what but baby she got to take an episode bath and relax and take a spiritual bath right and soak from head to toe it's time she needs to go swim in the sea baby baby y'all might need to stay out the sea baby i don't know if your karma if your karma ain't right don't go to the sea okay because people been going under the sea permanently so y'all stay away from the sea if your karma ain't good, but if your karma good, then you can go on over, over there to the sea and, you know, take a dip. But the way of the world is on her shoulder because she didn't set any boundaries, okay? And like I said, she didn't let go of a relationship when she should have let them go. Trying to hold on to something that was not meant for her. That the timing, the season was over, baby, okay? And you're still trying to hold on to something that'll drag you through the mud, baby. They'll drag you through hell to get you off of them, okay? Trying to shake you off of them. So, she needs a spiritual bath, baby. She needs to connect with spirit for sure. Okay? Because meditating and yoga won't do it. Baby, you need some, You need to take... You really need to soak and immerse yourself in water. Get you some epic salt, baby. Get you a good old spiritual bath um, um, recipe for yourself, girl. Okay? Because you're fighting it. Okay? Because you need a deep cellular healing. I mean, deep cellular. Cellular. It's not something that you can just do... And it's not a one-time bath, girl, okay? It says something about your actual energy, physical, and emotional healing. So she needs some physical healing as well. But the physical, I don't know why the physical showed up. And I don't know Because these swords, they could also represent some type of physical injury to herself. It could be cutting. It could be um, whatever people do to kind of heal pain. It's like, I don't get that though. How do cutting help you with pain? But I guess what it does, if I just can think about it, is they taking control of their pain. But it's like, if you want to take control of the pain, just don't give it to you. Take control by not giving yourself pain at all. But, I don't know. I don't know, girl. Like, don't get me going crazy trying to figure it out. So, it's a deep cellular healing that she needs to be done here. It's not about the outside, baby. You got to go within, okay? 
because it's some, some physical stuff, some emotional stuff that needs to be healed here. Okay, now we got the Hierat, and it speaks about long, longing for home, homesick for the stars. Oh, okay. So I hope she ain't just tired of being on earth and that she's ready to go home. Okay, it's on because that card just gave me, okay, I'm sick of being here. I, I don't belong here. Okay, I'm not valued here. I'm not appreciated here. I'm invisible here. And then when they do see me, they put me down. Okay, the world is not appreciating me. The world is a burden to her right now. Okay, all because she didn't set the boundaries and people that she allowed in her life. She didn't set boundaries because she loved those people. Think about it. Okay, these were people that she loved. Okay, I don't know if she had the idea of dream, but her dream was not reality. Okay, and that left her in silence. Okay, and maybe she suffered in silence a lot. Okay, so let's pull, let's pull, let's we get somewhere, girl. We have we're trying to get close to this deep cellular healing. So let's get let's deep let's dig into this deep cellular hip healing. What needs to be healed? What is this deep cellular heal, healing that needs to be healed? Okay, I don't know if these cards can tell us, but we're gonna hope. Oh, we got it. We got it, girl. This, this car said we got this story, baby. Okay, so it's a story keeper. Okay, now she's not a storyteller right here. So this is a story keeper, which means she's keeping some stories. She's keeping some secrets. She's keeping some things hidden, and she's not speaking about it. She's not talking about it. So therefore, they're starting to bubble up like a volcano. It says, tell your story, Heather. Okay, your legacy. Write your wisdom. So Heather may need to write a book, girl. If she ain't already started it, girl, she probably already started it. But she really do, because it's going to be part of her healing. Because with this four, this story is something that she's been holding to herself. She has not been telling anyone. She has not been speaking about it. She's been holding it deep down in her heart and her soul, baby. But she got to release it. Because it's going to start showing up in different type of ways. Like it's showing up with addiction. It's showing up maybe in your skin, girl. It starts showing up with your hair, with hair loss. So, girl, get your story out, baby. Because right now it's a weight on your shoulder. Okay, so let the world know about it, girl. We got little boy blue. Okay, so we got this cute little baby here. It speaks about dreams that come true. Return of the soul. Aww. So this giving me um, either, okay, I don't know if she has a son. If she, if she has a son in the spirit world or... They're speaking about her inner child. Okay. Again, this with the deep cellular healing. It could be some type of emotional healing that she has not healed ever since she was a child. Or maybe um I see I'm seeing a little boy here. Of course the little boy is here, but if if this is a son, okay, it's some type of healing. Because it seems like she lost something with the return of the soul. We're trying to get her soul back into her body, girl. Because it said it's not there yet. Something has left her. Okay. Now, the loss of a soul could be the loss of a child, loss of a male energy. But it speaks about dreams come true. So, again, this is the second time we saw dreams come true here. This was a dream. Do Heather got children? Was, I'm just picking up this sign. Could have been a, a dream come true to her. This is something that she needs to heal from too. If like this, would, this is probably what the icing on the cake when this happened. When this male son or this male figure, uh, it left her blue. Okay, and it says, um, you know, I just see a baby here, and but it's like to heal this energy, her soul will be healed. Okay, because this falls right above the lovers. So, again, this could be the lover that's a masculine or this uh, love child that was made with this masculine. Okay, girl. But we got the unicorn and the mating. We, we got communication with unicorns, purification, and undercover action. Undercover action. Why? Okay. Now I got to pull on the undercover action. Like, again, this, this girl got so much stuff that's hidden and that's layered up under her. That's why it's so deep. It's so deep, okay? She probably ain't sharing none of this. She just kept it to herself. And it just packed up on her to the point that it is showing up in all different type of ways, baby. It's showing up where she coming across like this, baby. And, baby, you don't let it go, you don't let it go too far. 
okay? So, let's see. Let's get some cards out here to give us more about this little boy blue. This deep cellular healing. Undercover actions. Can you give us more about this undercover action that she needs to purify herself with? She needs to talk about it. She needs to get it out. Okay. So, the cards we have here. There's going to be a change here for her. It says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. Okay, so she got to make some moves, baby. She got to make some changes for sure. And it can't, and it seems like it can't be done with rehab because she only went 20 times. It ain't happened, girl. Um, girl, it, it's talking about a book, girl, writing a book. They say books are healing, writing is healing. You can heal somebody else too. But it speaks about change, changing your vision, seeing things in this kaleidoscope type of vision so that you can start seeing um, shapes that make sense. Okay, but she got to understand that nothing can grow, okay, or change without her making some type of move. So she got to do something, girl, and give gratitude while you're doing it. It says, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents, okay, that's self-explanatory, and imagina imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So she definitely needs a deep mind healing here. Okay, so yeah, this is mental for her, girl. She got to get out of her mind. She's entrapped in her mind. She's seeing different type of. It's like she's seeing things with this kaleidoscope, but it's like, girl, that's not really something you can look through. You can't really see things through that kaleidoscope. You're only seeing colors and shapes. That's not going to really help you in life. Okay. So let's pull some cards to help her through this. It's, it's speaking about communication. She just really needs to talk. With the new moon in Gemini, she needs to speak about what's going on with her. Okay? It's, it's a side of her that she's not showing with this Gemini card. Something that's in this moon cycle that keeps on happening that she really needs to kind of speak about, whether it's with counseling or write it down or journal or get a book, girl. But communication is key here with Miss Girl that look like her. She needs to speak, come out of this Gemini energy, okay? And it says, what do you need to release, girl? Even the cars need to know. It's like, it's so much. It's so much she needs to release, and she needs to release it in so many avenues, okay? And I don't, I don't think she ever just really came out and spoke about it. If she did, I didn't see it, girl. Okay, but she needs to get out and speak about it because right now she's feeling entrapped at home, okay? That's what I'm seeing. I see entrapment. In her home, okay, her beauty, she, I mean, do she still got that? She needs to have self-love for herself, okay? Then we got selling out, okay? It says, unleash your creativity, girl, okay? Discover your life's true purpose, okay? Because I feel like her, her contentment, let's, let's pull from this, this deck, okay? I don't feel like she's content in life. She can't find her peace. She got to release it, baby. She got to talk about it. Okay. Now, what does she need to release? Give us more about this release from Miss Heather. Okay. Okay. The cards pretty much say the girl. She needs to allow. Let it happen. Okay. Allowing. Okay. So, maybe she needs to allow somebody to come in. Maybe she's stopping people from coming in, helping her. Stopping people from moving forward in her life and stopping herself from moving forward. You just see that little paw out there, baby. It's like, go ahead and put it down and move, okay? Put it down and move, baby, okay? Allow it to happen. Forgiveness. Set yourself free, baby. Forgive these people because you're angry at everybody, honey. And I know it's hard to forgive people who done stabbed you in the back ten times, baby. But they say that's what you have to do, Okay. Sometimes we don't understand it, but you gotta release. You gotta release these people because they're holding you hostage, girl. Okay, and, and girl, so you like say, look at this little friend, little puppy, just jumping that little hoop, that little loop. He says, "Do your best, okay, and you'll receive excellence, okay." 
you got it's, it's showing that you still got stuff to give girl you still can get out there okay you still got creativities have a new vision for yourself okay because right here it's like you longing for home you longing for a place to belong because I see home here you're not you, either she's not comfortable in her own skin her own home but she longing to to leave okay and we need her to girl come back because we need her to get out of this energy baby okay go to, go how go schedule an appointment at your um hair at your hair appointment baby go holler at your makeup artist baby go get you a massage get them sores out your back baby massage your back okay get your new outfit update your outfit okay yeah put a little lotion on your skin you'll be okay you'll be all right okay so that's gonna conclude the reading for miss heather locklear catch me on the next one girl talk to you later bye